Eyes are rough. Woo! Barely over my eyes. Ah. Woo. Okay. So, still kind of getting over that onion, but um, I have all my stuff set up for my freezer cooking day, um, and I will show you what I've got. So here's what I have. Um, essentially what I'm doing is taking um, about five recipes and doubling them. I have one over here that's not being doubled, but anyway. So these are the ones I have coming up and what I'll do is just set up my bags and my ingredients that I need for each one. And I wrote my <laughs> A recipe on the bag and what I plan to serve it with and then I realized well I'm not going to be able to see the bag the entire time so uh, then on an index card I wrote out um, you know like my specific measurings for like the soy sauce and the jam things like that um, obviously like the ginger and the garlic I know it's going to be split so but that's what I have I just have these little guys sitting here just waiting to go All right, so that's how I set it up. Obviously, I got my onions and stuff all chopped up beforehand. My garlic, I don't have that chopped. Show it over here. I don't have that chopped um, because I'm going to be using a garlic press. Okay, and over here, I'm going to start out with my easiest recipe, which is going to be salsa chicken. So I have um, this tub of black beans. It's actually going to be used in a couple different recipes. Um, I got those cooked up yesterday and just stuck them in the refrigerator. So I'll tell just sit there. I have my salsa, my seasonings, my corn, and this onion actually belongs to another recipe, so I'll get it over there with that. And then, sitting over here, I have uh, my chicken. Um, as you can see, I've got a little tongs in there, so I don't have to uh, touch the chicken itself when I'm putting it in the various bags. Um, so I don't have to worry as much about uh, contaminating some stuff. of it in the freezer. Just get that in here to freeze up nice. Okay, and then here's kind of what the plan looks like. As you can see I don't have any sides on here. 
But here we go. So we're going to do Dijon chicken. And that is actually April still. Okay, whatever. Dijon chicken, salmon, tacos, Italian chicken, group. All oh, Thursday uh, we eat with our circles group, so I don't have to prepare anything those days. And then we're going to have tilapia. Tilapia will take place every single Friday. And then Saturdays are going to be, we're going to have tortilla pizzas. Well, I initially labeled them tortilla pizzas because I was planning on doing um, like a whole wheat tortilla and then making kind of individual pizzas. However, I ended up finding those crusts um, that are going to work out pretty well. So anyway, we're doing pizzas and then the lentil soup and chili. So that'll be our Saturday. And then the other days of the week, over here, we're going to do curry chicken on a Sunday. And then we're going to do pork loin. Tacos! Taco Tuesday. So there's that. And we're going to have salsa chicken. And then, of course, tilapia lentil soup. Okay. Italian chicken, salmon, tacos, the apricot ginger chicken, tilapia pizza, salsa chicken, pork loin, tacos, curry chicken, group dinner, tilapia chili. We're going to do apricot chicken, apricot ginger. Let me get this focus again. Salmon, tacos, and Dijon chicken. I don't have any of the sides included on here because I will just use whatever frozen vegetables or fresh vegetables and fruit that I have on hand for that night. Um, and many of these crock pot meals will be served with... Um, like the Dijon chicken goes over rice, the Italian chicken's going to go over some whole wheat egg noodles. And so we'll have salad or, you know, another side dish of another vegetable on those nights. But that is the plan for May. Hey guys, so my kitchen, total disaster. I'm not even going to show it to you guys. It is a wreck. But I have all of those meals done. And it will be awesome to just pull them out of the freezer, stick them in the crock pot, get the side dish ready. Um, it'll be very nice. Uh, this is the very first time I've ever done a big um, grocery shopping trip and then a big meal prep day. Um, it's pretty good practice though because it's probably going to become a fairly regular part of my life because of my school schedule this summer and fall. So I'll have a lot more of this up coming. Um, if you guys have any fantastic, you know, freezer or crock pot meals that you enjoy, please share them in the description or in the comments below. Sorry. Um, I am going to share the website where I found all of my recipes in the description box down below. And uh, thanks for watching.